Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10-day trend. March may have come in like a lion with some very unsettled weather for the first half of the month, but it seems to be going out like a lamb. The weather largely dry and warm during the next few days. It does then change over the weekend. A change to colder conditions, northwesterly winds, overnight frosts, and of course, into April next week. So we are expecting April showers. Now for Thursday, We've got this warm air still across the whole of the country, high pressure centre close to the south of the UK, a brisk wind for the far north of Scotland, gales for Shetland, weather fronts close by bringing cloud and some rain, but elsewhere it's a fine, dry and bright day. After any early morning frost and fog disappears, plenty of sunshine from eastern Scotland into northern England, into Wales, the southwest, as well as Northern Ireland. Cloudier elsewhere, but where the sun shines, mid to high teens, 18 degrees possible in northeast Scotland, where we stay cloudy, 12 or 13 degrees. But most places dry, and it's a similar picture heading into Friday with that high pressure close to the south. A brisk wind for the northern half of the country, but as that wind warms up over the higher ground across northern England, again, eastern England could get temperatures into the high teens, 18 degrees there. For the northeast of England, 11 degrees where the wind blows in from the coast and we keep cloudy skies for western Scotland. You can see blues waiting in the wings though, and those blues make a bit more progress across the northern half of the country by the start of Saturday. So the weekend starts with a touch of frost for the far north of Scotland, a weather front crossing the country, albeit very slowly, and that weather front fragments as it moves its way southwards. And by Saturday afternoon, it's a band of cloud and some outbreaks of rain across central areas, slowly meandering south. To the north of that weather front, colder air pushes in, and that means we'll have some wintry showers. Rain and hail at lower levels across northern and western Scotland. Snow of the hills above about 300 metres or so, but some sunshine as well, albeit with a cold wind. Further south, quite a contrast. Some dry and bright weather continuing and 17 degrees possible in the southeast. All change though as that cold front moves through by Sunday. You can see it clearing into the continent and then brighter skies for many places. Just a few showers down the eastern side of Britain, but a colder feel, a frosty start in the north and everywhere feeling much colder. Into the start of next week then, we've got high pressure just edging out to the west into the Atlantic. It's loosening its grip across the country, allowing weather systems to topple in over the top of it. The jet stream powering these systems down across the UK from the northwest. And so a frosty start, certainly on Monday, and then outbreaks of rain, a strengthening wind pushing into northwestern Britain. Those outbreaks of rain then topple across the country and effectively throughout next week we're into a repeating pattern with the jet stream tending to drive these systems southeastwards across the country. Rain followed by showers followed by more spells of rain. The rain heavy with strong winds in the northwest but tending to peter out as it pushes into the southeast. So in other words it's a week of sunny spells and showers and it's going to feel much colder compared to this week. So a new month next week, we're into colder conditions, overnight frosts, very likely where we get clear skies, and some lively showers, hail, thunder, wintriness over northern hills. But in between these showers, there will be some sunny spells. In other words, it's April, we can expect April showers. Bye-bye.